Hey guys, it's KJ48, and welcome back to my 7 Days to Die single player Let's Play. This is episode 27. Whew, alright, I'm taking a deep breath here. Um, the reason I'm starting off on the pause screen is because it's about 1800 hours, a good 4 hours before the, se uh, the 7 Day Horde is supposed to come, but I think it's here. I heard some yelling, I heard some dogs, I heard some stuff. Uh, I'm pretty freaking nervous, so let's just uh, get ready. I've got my... I've got my stuff set up here. Let's go ahead and j dump this stuff in here. I've got coffee. I've got beer. We'll just put the coffee right there. Uh, we've got murky water on us because I was going to make water, but we'll just put that up there for now. Let's go ahead and eat. I uh, went ahead I went ahead um, on my way back from last video. I went ahead up here to the crossroads and grabbed that... Uh, the crossroads and grabbed that, um, that bear stuff. The bear meat. And then I went ahead and made some cooked up some bear meat. Can you tell how nervous I am? Like, I'm kind of stuttering as I'm talking. Like, I'm jacked. I'm jacked for this horde. Got my sniper rifle with 87 rounds. I've got my shotgun with 33 rounds. Bow, 143 arrows. Crossbow, 364 arrows. And the absolutely useless melee weapon. Um, as a matter of fact, that doesn't even really need to be on my hopper. Um, I am going to need... Oh boy. Yeah, here we go. Wood frames. We don't really need that. We don't need that. We're not going to be meleeing. So let's go up. Uh, last time I had one of these hordes, you, um, I kind of waited in here in this inventory match, but you guys were lamenting it was boring and stuff. So I will go outside uh, during these hordes. So you get to see what's going on. Yeah, I'm freaking nervous as hell. Uh, okay, so. Yep, that's definitely a horde because we got the fire zombies. They're not usually here. Um, did you see me here or what? No, this is not the horde because I'm. I'm Undetected. That's just a that's just a roaming horde. That's a roaming horde. Let's see if we can take some take some shots. Get warmed up here. All right. So this is this is the idea. Okay. This is a lot easier because they are moving slowly. But this is the idea of the active defense. Just gotta get used to it. I'm not used to this. Kill them so they don't do too much damage to your spikes. Kill the fatties first. They have the most hit points and there's a cop. I probably should have sniped the cop. I don't know what I was thinking. There we go. Yeah, you don't screw around with cops. Like, should I go and get the bullets? Let's go for it. They gotta hold three hours before they're running. That I don't think we should... And I know there's... I know there's dogs out there, but I think it might be worth it. Quick. Quick. There we go, look at that. Huh? How was that? Like a freaking ninja. I love it. Well, okay, so this is not the horde. So now I'm wondering if, well, a cop zombie has not come in the uh, seven day horde. So that still could have been a horde. Could have been the seven day horde, I mean. The cop wasn't shooting at me either. Um, wasn't like trying to barf at me, so that's pretty nice. Oh, this one might. You know what? I'm gonna mess around, cops. Cops are the problem. Cops and feral zombies are the problem. Although I have a hard time telling feral zombies from regular zombies. Hornets could be an issue as well. Now, I do understand that these guys would be walking right by me if I wasn't shooting at them. I'm basically just warming up. Ugh. As you can see, I need to practice. Alright, alright. Oh, there's a feral. There's a feral. Wow. Wow. That was like three shots. If I hit him in the head three times, that might have been three shots. I gotta, I gotta keep a look at the ferals. The ferals are the real problems. The fatties, the ferals, and the cops. Unfortunately, I do not have a ton of ammo, and there is some hornets up here. That could be a problem. But they don't seem to be bothering me right now, so I'm not gonna worry about it. Damn it. 
I'm not good at this. There you go, gotcha. Gonna get your mutt. Oh, well I hit him, just not in the head. Ugh. Oh crap, I shot a zombie on, I shot a zombie on top of my crops. That zombie's gonna turn into a gore block and ruin possibly two corn crops. That's a shame. That's a damn shame. Fabulous. Kill the cops. Leave the dogs and leave the regular zombies. <sighs> At least until they get close. Then there's no reason not to shoot them. How are these zombies not seeing me? Like... Like, they're not seeing me until I hit them. That's kind of weird. Stupid mutt. What did I get from that cop, anyway? Oh, uh, I got some of these arrows. You know what? We should use those. Um, what else did I get from them? I think I got some ammo for... I might have gotten some shotgun ammo or something. I wasn't paying attention. I'll go back and watch the video. I was too jacked up, you know? All right. All right, so let's uh, let's go ahead and take. Uh, we only got a few arrows. This, this is even worth taking. I'll just save these up. Twelve, you know, whatever. It's not gonna do. Okay. All right, another hour. We should get the real horde. This is just a warm-up horde. Look at all those gore blocks already. Can I get those from here? That would be really nice if I could. Probably not. It looks way too low. You know what I'm gonna do if I try and if I try and do that I'm gonna hit these uh these things will will arrows work? Nah, arrows used to break gore blocks in one shot. I think if we can concentrate on the feral zombies and kill them along with the cops, I think we'll do okay. All right, enough of that. Let's go crossbow. I gotta warm up with the crossbow. Crossbow's a lot different aiming than the uh, than the bow. You gotta you gotta aim up and to the left because the arrows or the bolts go down and to the right for some reason. So another thing we can do is if we get in trouble, like say this this end's getting hit too hard, like there's a lot of gore blocks over here, we can always come over to this end. They'll follow us over here and attack this end, and then it's a way to like kind of spread out the damage. As a matter of fact, I'm gonna break in here. That way I can get in and out of here if I need to. On this end as well. It's not perfect, but it's um, it's pretty good. Alright. A few minutes now. Alright, just don't worry about the dogs. They're not doing anything. Or shoot them. Or miss. Whatever. Oh. Is he dead? He might be dead. I don't know. Oh, there we go. Yep, three headshots. And they give a lot of experience. Oh, there we go. It just got real. Cops coming in. And they're shooting at me and breaking stuff. Oh god, let's get on the other side. I, I do not want them breaking any of the, uh, tr any of the, uh, the iron... Oh god! I, you know what? I should have put torches out here before the before the night. Okay. Oh god! He just blew up a spike! Damn it! Shoot the fatties. Oh, I can't see shit, and you guys can probably see less. Sorry about that. I, I didn't. I should have put some lights out there. Campfires, maybe. Nah, campfires cost wood. 
Oh my god. Yeah, stop wasting ammo on those guys. Oh my god, that spike just got destroyed. Oh, don't fall. Where'd that come from? There you are. Oh, feral. Or not, maybe it was just a regular guy. Sometimes I have trouble telling- oh god, we gotta get out of here, we can't be here. Let's come on over here. We should repair that, we should repair that. We should repair that, repair, repair, repair. And upgrade it. Oh god, get inside. Come on, oh, I don't have any wood on me. I don't think I have any wood at all, crap. See, if we can keep the cops from exploding, we'd be doing ourselves a big favor. Alright, we just killed two cops and a feral, so that should help. Um, wood, 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 we need wood. Uh, you know what, I don't think I have any. Damn. Uh, really? Well, any wood, huh? If I'm seeing, if I'm looking at wood and I don't see it, just bear with me, guys. I'm pretty excited right now. Okay. Go to the front. Stop hitting that side, guys. Damn, they're not gonna stop. They're not following me. The nice part about killing the ferals is they give all the experience, so you don't want your spikes to kill them. There we go. See, level 30 already. Come on over here, guys. Stop blowing up on that side. Come on, I'm over here. You know what? I'm gonna play around cops. Oh my god. Look at that. Oh my god. My freaking traps are... Spikes are flying everywhere. Oh god. Yeah, not having wood was a mistake. That was a big mistake. Look at you. Oh, you're dead. Okay. I'm not even going to go downstairs and look on the inside because basically the outside of my walls are all cobblestone. And if they've gotten to... If they've broken the cobblestone away enough to break the inside wall, the inside wall is all flagstone. So that's going to go, like... That's going to go down like, you know, like nothing anyway. So not much point in repairing it. Okay, this sniper rifle has been a godsend. I'm, I might have just enough ammo. You, you know, those, um, basically, guys, on these hordes, kill the cops, don't let them explode, and kill the ferals. For, for, first of all, you're going to get a massive amount of experience. Uh, second of all, um, you know, cops that don't explode do a lot less damage, and, and ferals, you know, uh, the, the less they're beating on your spikes, the better. I mean, I would say just ignore the regular zombies. You know, this might not be a good spot, because gore blocks pile up here. That could be a problem. Uh, let's see what we can do about that, now that we have a little bit of time. Yeah, just one more one more thing like that. And then what we'll do is we'll put, uh, we'll put that right there for now, but in the middle we'll put, we'll put more iron bars. That'll be nice. Because gore blocks can build up here as well. The nice part about this defense, though, is I can go to any side of the house, and, like, they'll mostly follow me. All right. Well, got about a little three hours and twenty minutes left. Man, I was I made so many videos in a row, guys. Like the 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 video I'm putting up today is twenty is twenty four, and this is episode twenty twenty seven. Uh, and I still want to make one video after this, so I'm breaking my own rule, making too many videos. But I'm gonna make sure you're gonna have at least one single player video up every day, and possibly two for the next couple days. Let's see my corn. Yeah. Oh, it doesn't look like they gore blocked up on my corn. That's kind of weird. 
Usually they gore block up on your crops and destroy them. But those don't look destroyed. Interesting. Um, a little mental note. Next time I, I get a chance, you know, it's not... See, the thing is, I want you guys to be able to see what's going on, but at the same time, it's not a huge priority. I don't know if they'll attack them either, but I want to start putting, like, torches out everywhere um, so you guys can see during the Horde Nights. Uh, I don't think the zombies will attack the torches. I don't see why they would. So, I will do that for sure. Because I felt like that first that first wave was a little a little dark. Oh, we left a couple things here. It's okay. All right. Oh, I hear music. Maybe that means another wave coming in. Let's come over here. Hopefully they'll hit over here. I'd like them to hit on this back wall right here. I think that's probably the strongest wall we have at this point. Those are normal zombies. And here they come. I don't see any fatties. I don't see any... Is that a... Nope, regular zombie. I wasn't sure. We'll help out with the crossbow here. No reason not to. We'll just save the big ammo for the for the big guys. Oh man, you got own, bro. Whoop. Why you stop? Plus, get the experience when you can, right? Alright, so this side looks... Yeah, this side looks okay. This side's looking okay. This side has lost uh, one spike, two spikes. It's got hit a little bit. And this side... I don't even want to look. One, two, two spikes gone, possibly three, four. This side's lost about, like, five spikes or so. Um, honestly, it doesn't look that bad. It doesn't look that bad at all. Let's uh, get on this side, so in case they do come in again. They come on this side. We got two more hours till morning. Now, I should be getting the Feral Hordes the rest of the day. Um, even with, you know, when it's daylight out, but whatever, dude. When it's daylight out, I'll just run around and, and you know, kite them with the bow. No reason. No reason not to. I got plenty of, I got plenty of beer, plenty of, uh... This stuff right here, the coffee and the beer and the grain alcohol are your lifeblood. I didn't realize I had that, by the way. Um, they're your lifeblood. Uh, they're going to help you run out. Like, if this if this building got compromised and I had to leave, I could run the rest of the night and be fine. Like, they couldn't catch me. Um, it's just not very fun. I feel like it's a little, I don't know, lame. Make these metal. I don't know why. I just, you know, it just feels a little... I don't want to say cheap. I don't, I don't want it to get nerfed. I kind of like the idea that we have the ability to run out. But it does feel a little cheap, I guess. If I have to be honest. Like, if your place goes down and you don't have a fallout shelter underneath or some kind of, you know, backup plan. Besides just running out during the night. I think if you run out during the night on a day 7 horde, you should be killed. I don't think you should have any chance to survive. But, I don't know. Maybe I'm wrong. I guess uh, I'm okay with either, either way, to be honest. Um, a lot of people are telling me to build a... To build underground, an underground uh, uh, hallway from here to here. That's a long way, guys. If I do that, it's going to be on stream. so Or off camera. So, just be aware of that. It's a good idea. I actually like the idea. The only problem is if this base gets compromised, like I was telling the person who gave me the idea. If this base gets compromised, then the, front, the bottom floor is going to be the first place compromised. And I won't be able to get into my, you know, bunker. So... Oh, there you are. Oh, I hit him. Damn. Look at that. Owned. Wow. I can't believe that first one hit him. Huh. A little better with the bow than I thought. All right. So, I don't know, guys. I think that was it. Um, I thought there would have been another wave, but... I guess the sniper rifle has proven its worth. Um, the sniper rifle is, in fact, the horde killer. Horde killer. Maybe I should call it that. Seven day killer. Seven day killer. Seven, seven day horde killer. That's pretty cool. Seven day horde killer. It's a little long, but... 
you know, we're all going to name our weapons, right? The Seven Day Horde Killer. I should be able to right click on it and rename it. Right? That'd be cool. Yeah, this is the this is the gun right here. I can make the ammo. If I get the ability to make the casings, forget it. Forget it. It's game over. I just want seven days to die. Whew. That's pretty exciting. Pretty exciting. I don't even know what I want to do tomorrow. I haven't, like, really... I haven't really thought about it. Well, first thing we need to do is uh, organize our inventory. We don't need all these guns. What do I want to get rid of? We probably don't need a bow and a crossbow. Let's get rid of the bow. And, uh... And the arrows. I usually like to keep three... Three weapons on my hotbar. Um, well, actually, that's four, isn't it? So we don't need two firearms. Uh, let's hold on to the sni let's Let's get rid of the sniper rifle for now. Um, although that is the cop killer. I can kill cops with the crossbow during the day. It's not a problem. I mean, it's easier to kill them with the with the uh, sniper rifle, and I could really use the rounds. The problem is you spend the rounds and you don't get them back, but I can always break up the bullets unless I get 9mm. No, you know what? I'm going to keep that. We'll put away the shotgun. Yeah, I want to be able to snipe cops. This is still a seven-day horde. If this was not, you know, day seven, I would, I would, uh, I would put that, I would put the sniper rifle away. But I do expect to see a lot more cops. Uh, what do we got here? Shotgun shells. I, do, I don't like doing inventory management on camera, but it is what it is. You know, uh, we can go out now. So, uh, there, 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 uh, there. We're not gonna need that. Put that there. Uh, yeah, that's fine. I'll do I'll do inventory management later. <laughs> uh, there, there. Try. I'm just trying to keep the stuff I know I'm gonna need. Uh, can't take that yet. I mean, we can, but it was, I'm not going to. Okay, let's go out. So where are we gonna go? Where are we gonna go? I don't like the idea of going to a hub city on the seven day horde night. So I don't think we're gonna do that. Um, let's go this way. Let's explore over here. The next couple videos will probably be all exploring slash looting. Um, I'd really like to get some proper guns, or the ability to use, you know, stuff on the guns. Did I ever get the cement book? I know I got a bunch of books, but... See, I need the cement book, or concrete. Can I make concrete? No. No, I can't. Yeah, can't make it. Yeah, I didn't find it. Um, so that's, that's the problem right there. Uh, I want to be able to make the reinforced concrete before I make another base. Man, this held up ridiculously well. Like, in, this this held up ridiculous. And I'm on high zombie spawns, guys. I know I'm not living in the hub city or nothing, but damn. Like, that's that's some hardcore stuff. I'm not going to mess around with that farm right now. Um, although I, I could pick the corn, but the problem is I don't have anywhere else to plant it. So I'll just wait, come back, and do it later. Okay. Man, that was, um, I was all psyched, but, you know, it was tough, but it wasn't anything to get all nervous about, that's for damn sure. And now I'm level 30, so I will make a, probably make a new set, I'll make a new, uh, crossbow, a new spike club. 30 goes from, uh, 250 to 350, which means I can start making green items. So, yeah, we're gonna make new stuff. Definitely not a pickaxe or an axe, but we're gonna make a whole new set of stuff. We should probably just make a beeline right for it. Just go through the woods. It'll be quicker. And then I should probably do some more mining at some point. I haven't, like, felt the need for iron, but I'm pretty sure I've got to be low on iron. So here's the, here's the thing, guys. Do I build another base? Or do I just upgrade the one I have now? And should I kill that bear? I should probably kill the bear. I could use the food. Where is he, though? I don't like running around with when smelling, but I think we're still on the, the, the horde day, so I think I should be detected no matter what. I don't know where that bear is. Oop. I don't know where the bear is. I'm not going to go looking for him. Could take forever. Okay. You know what? I never looted these houses. Because, uh, remember I restarted my world? So these houses are unlooted, but I'm going to leave them alone because I'm going to get to the other spot. Alright, here's some zombies. There you go. I don't need to kill you guys. 
Oh, listen to that. All right, guys. Well, that's going to be it for episode 27. We'll see you next time for episode 28. Till then, take it easy.